Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can transfer files between Linux Mint and Mac OS. And we'll be using SSH. The protocol we're gonna be using is SCP, which uses uh, SSH for secure file transfer. Now we'll need to enable SSH on both Ubuntu and Mac OS. We'll need the IPs on both devices and then a username and a password. To enable SSH on the Mac device, this is a uh, MacBook Pro, we'll need to go to system settings. It's either gonna be system settings or system preferences. And then go to general, and under general, you wanna go to sharing and enable remote login. That, that should enable SSH. You need to know the IP address, a username, and a password. Now let me see what files I have here. On the desktop, I have these two files. Let me delete one, the one that's coming from Linux Mint. So let me remove this one. You can also use your finder to see what files you have. This is the file I have on my desktop right now. Now when we are pulling, you need the source and destination. The protocol is going to be SCP. Now if the source is my Mac device and I'm pushing to Linux Mint, I will need to put the file name here. So let's to this file and I'm, I'm pushing it to the Linux Mint device. I need the username at the IP address for Linux Mint. This is the IP address. Then here I write the file path where I'm gonna have this file placed on my Linux Mint device. So, so the path is gonna be home, you know, desktop. And it's asking for the password. If it's the first time, it might ask you if you trust that device. And it says 100%, that means it was successful. I didn't get any error messages. I didn't get any error messages. Now that's what pushing. If I'm pulling, it's gonna be in reverse. The source is gonna be the Linux Mint and destination is gonna be this device the Mac device, so I'll do SCP. Actually, just let's just use this. And let's change the source. So it's coming from Linux Mint. So the same information, the username, the password. So it's gonna be the same information, the username, the IP, the directory, and the file name. So the file name is uh, test mint uh, txt, and I'm placing it in this directory. Uh, the password. And let do if we do ls, you see now we have the file. That means I was able to successfully transfer the file from Linux Mint to this device. So the, ne the next step is to go to the Linux Mint device and show how the process works from that device. It's going to be the same commands, it's just that you're doing it from Linux Mint instead of uh, Mac OS. Okay, so I'm on the Linux Mint device and as you can see I have the two files here. One is the one that I pushed to it, and this is the one I'd created on this device. So let me go ahead and delete this one. And since we are using the terminal, I'm gonna open the terminal. And I'm gonna navigate to the desktop here. I'll do pwd, and as you can see, this is the same directory that I used so as you can see, this is the path I used on the Mac OS device when I was transferring the files. And right now we only have this file. We don't have the file on the Mac device. So the, the thing I mentioned is you need to ensure that SSH is enabled. Now on Linux Mint to enable or to check it, you use the systemctl command. 
and in my case it's active and running if it wasn't active and running you can just use systemctl to start it you just say start ssh and should that should start it for you okay if it's not running so i'm just going to cancel this since it's already running here and to check the ip on this device you can do ip address and on the mac device to check the ip address just go to the settings and then click on the network tab that should show you your interfaces and then under your interfaces you, you'll see which one is active if you click on it you should see your ip address now let's run the command for doing the push if i was pushing from this device again it's going to be the same thing scp and then i'll just select the file here uh, it's test and then the destination i'll need the username and then the ip this is the ip for the mac os device then the path so users this is gonna be the part uh, so you can do PWD on the terminal on the Mac OS device to see a path so this is it for my Mac device desktop and then the file should be placed on the desktop And there you have it, so that's the command. And I'm pushing this file from the Linux Mint to that Mac device. So that's all for this video. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks, bye.